Today on the channel, we're going to take another look inside of Eddie's trick bag. Alright, good enough. Good enough, good enough to... Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take another look inside of Eddie's trick bag. If you're interested in any of the prior episodes of this series, I'll put them in the description below. But today is episode number four, and we're going to take a look at a few uh, interesting things that Eddie, Eddie uses within his trick bag, and uh, that makes Van Halen truly Van Halen. So let's start off with his tapping. He does this really awesome double tapping technique in Mean Street. And uh, especially during his Live Without a Net concert that was from uh, like 86, he does this really cool Mean Street type thing that also incorporates some wicked uh, two-handed double tapping that we find later in, in Van Halen's career. So first of all, the, the double tapping uh, thing that he's doing in Mean Street, he's taking his, uh, he's, he's using this hand as a percussive instrument like, like this, okay? And then he's taking his thumb, and he hits it on the 12th fret. He's taking his pointer finger and he's hitting the B and the E string. And he's chiming that, those uh, two notes on the 12th fret. So it sounds like a double stop. So. so if you can get that down and then put the slap in between each one so it sounds like and you speed it up it sounds like this and in Mean Street he does this thing that sounds like so it goes if you turn up your volume all the way and get lots of distortion, it's easier. Slowly, it sounds like... And then sometimes in the uh, solo in, in uh, Live Without a Net, he'll go, he'll go. He'll take the, the B and the G string and go. You know, something like that. I'm giving you some ideas. So. Very percussive stuff. Okay, then he does this really, this really cool two-handed tapping thing in that solo, also in Live Without a Net, um, and he also does it in uh, Judgment Day on uh, for Unlawful Carnal Knowledge. So what? What he's doing in this uh, sounds like uh, something like this. like that. So what, what I'm doing, it, it sounds really complicated and it, it sounds really cool, but it's really pretty easy. 
So what I'm doing is I'm taking these two fingers and I'm taking these two fingers and I'm on the B and the, the B and the D string with the, the right hand and the left hand I'm on the D and the A string like this okay and you have to put this hand over the fretboard and you're muting the strings with this palm of this hand like this so you don't have any extraneous string noise and we're hammering on with this like that doing this in this hand we're going so we're going to do these two and then these two all the while we're we're palm muting these strings so you don't get this crazy noise okay so we're gonna palm mute we're on the 12th fret on this hand and we're on the 14th frets on this hand so once again that's the B and the D string and this is the D and the A string or the G and the A and then you can go up chromatically kind of like that okay and then and what I'm doing there is I'm on the 21st fret on the B and the on the B and the the D string and I'm on the E and the B string on the 17th and the 19th so I'm going and I'm just doing that's another pattern that he likes to use I can barely do it. it. Takes a little bit of practice, but once you get that down, uh, it's pretty easy. It starts to hurt in this part of your hand if you're not used to doing this reach over on this tapping section. Uh, but it's very important to mute your strings, and you just gotta remember you go two on this hand and then two on this hand, and speed it up. You just start off slowly and speed it up till you get that down. All right, so there's some really cool shredding, two-handed aggressive uh, tapping. All right, let's talk about um, another technique that he uses in the song Pound Cake off of For Unlawful Carnal Knowledge. Eddie's in the key of E and we're going... In parts of that song, you'll hear him go... So throughout some of Eddie's solos, especially um, especially during his later years when he was using the Eventide Harmonizer and the Sammy Hagar era in uh, Balance and For Unlawful Carnal Knowledge, uh, and uh, you can hear it in the song Amsterdam and, and Pound Cake especially, he'll take an open E. And a B string, and he'll do these slide downs from the 12th fret. And so he may like incorporate a riff where he's going. It's a nice way to um, connect licks together. If you don't want to do a run, you can do like these little slippery.
You can do it on the G string, the B. Obviously, you don't want to overdo it, but if you inject it in a solo for just a second or two, it's it's a kind of a ni nice little trick, and that's another thing in Eddie's trick bag. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look at um, palm scrapes. Eddie did palm scrapes uh, in some of his songs, uh, like in uh, Everybody Wants Some, that be starts with him going... <laughs> And it kind of gives that nice abrasive sound, but also in Atomic Punk off of uh, Van Halen 1, where he's like. So what I'm doing is I'm holding the strings down with this hand so they're not ringing. And I'm just going with a lot of distortion on my amp. I'm taking the side of my hand and I'm. And if I scrape over the, the high end, the high string, it sounds like that, and the low string sound like this. So if you if you angle your hand a little bit like this, you get different different tonalities. And then you can go quicker. go palm scrapes another one of Eddie's tricks in his trick bag so let's take a look at um, something else that's not really a guitar technique but uh, we're probably very familiar with it but if you're not you're about to be Eddie liked to use uh, lots of different ways to get sounds out of his electric guitar for instance in the introduction for intruder he jammed a beer bottle between the strings and the body of the guitar and it fed back during Intruder and you hear this crazy feedback right before the song is about to start into Pretty Woman. So he used a lot of foreign objects and one thing he liked to use uh, in For Unlawful Carnal Knowledge and Pound Cake was a drill. <laughs> he used a Makita drill but I like this this drill here. It's not, a, it's not a, a wireless drill so I get a little bit of interference with the electricity but if you have a an old Makita uh, cordless drill they they do that wind down that and it, it actually provides a lot of nice uh, cool air for you if you're on stage too. You can cool off between songs. Anyway, um, this, this drill has that nice wind down whereas uh, the newer Makitas, they just go bzz, bzz, bzz. they don't have that spin so you got to get the old ones but when you put your drill up to your pickup it'll sound like this, it's gonna sound a little worse because it's a wire drill, but. <laughs> you put a little bit of delay on it, a little bit of detuner, it sounds awesome. So, uh, Eddie's trick bag. Use, uh, use some hardware appliances on your guitar and uh, you don't necessarily have to play it. Just draw inspiration from whatever's in the room next to you. But the power drill, one that winds down like that, especially a cordless drill so you don't get electrical interference like you were just hearing, uh, old Makita drill will work wonders for you. So last thing we're going to talk about tonight in Eddie's trick bag is Eddie played piano and other instruments. He played cello, but... I would encourage you to learn how to play piano. Piano gives you uh, the ability to see notes differently uh, uh, laid out in front of you. And uh, that's where Eddie came up with a lot of his guitar riffs was, uh, you know, on piano, for instance, uh, and the cradle will rock. And I even read that Unchained uh, was written on a piano. And I think Hear About, Hear About It Later was written on piano. Uh, Dancing in the Street, his little guitar part that he came up with on that was all piano. So. Anyway, I encourage you, if you don't know how to learn piano, it's never too late to start. And it's uh, uh, very similar to learning guitar, the way that the notes are laid out and the way that you can visualize stuff. And you can translate that information from piano to uh, guitar easily. 
And that's how I learned how to play piano. So I'll give you a demonstration. Okay, so Eddie wrote a lot of his songs on piano in C major and uh, D minor, uh, probably because it was it was easy. You know, there's no black notes if you're in the key of C. Cause it, like when you're looking at C on the keyboard, very easy to find C because it's near the two black keys. But so jump, for instance, uh, we've talked about in previous. Uh, Van Halen lessons that Eddie likes pedal tones, meaning one bass note over chords, right? So you could take a F major chord over a C bass and then a G and a C chord like this. And that gives you jump. That's your basic one, four, five, C, F, G. So Eddie was able to visualize one, four, five a lot, minor sixes, and experiment with chords with pedal tones. So if you just take a pedal tone on a C, you can see how a lot of chords work around that. For instance, A minor, E minor, that makes a C major seven, F, that's F with a five on the bass and a G. Okay. Eddie also liked to uh, mix the string patch, a string sound with piano. That was a very popular tone in the eighties. We heard a lot on 5150. So blending those sounds. Right? Or So there you go. Eddie also liked to play in D minor. That's a really nice key to transpose over to guitar because D minor is uh, great with F and B flat, D. It's very dramatic. So I would encourage all of you to learn some keyboards. Sit down at a keyboard and transpose what you know on guitar to the keys. That's what I did when I learned at a very early age. I took, I, I got a piano book out and I learned what the chord shapes were and I took uh, chord charts from my favorite bands like the Beatles and Van Halen and Zeppelin and stuff like that and I just started pounding out those chords and eventually you get a right hand and left hand technique where you can, you can kind of just play around with it. keyboards part of Eddie's trick bag all right so there you have it that's Eddie's trick bag part four I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did please consider subscribing comment below and as always have a great day peace out